it's Barb. Welcome to my crafts today. I haven't been around much lately. Um, December was kind of a rough month. I, um, of course, went to Mayo at the end of mid-late November, and then it took a couple of weeks to get over. Yeah, I, I knew it. I knew it would would because you know it would kind of exhaust me all those tests in such a short amount of time, but. Basically, um, got the all clear on my heart, so I'm happy with that. And then, of course, the holidays hit, and you know, you know how it is for everybody at the holidays. So, and I'm also trying to. I didn't get in here much then, but I'm trying to get some organization done. You can see I've kind of rearranged a little bit back there. I should do another kind of craft room update prior to the get organized challenge. I'm hoping. I know I won't finish because I just there's just too many things that I need need to buy to finish and I don't have the budget for that but I do have a few things to share um I haven't been shopping a lot so I haven't been on doing haul videos uh, but I did buy a few things from the Target dollar spot I bought these little bookmarks to put in the neighbor kids um treat bags for Valentine's says you have a pizza on my heart I thought that was cute um I bought these sticky calendar tabs. I thought they were kind of cool. That might be nice in my calendar, in my um, one of my planners. So I bought that. They had. Let's see if I can find something to set this against so you can kind of see it. Maybe just this. It's um stencil. Well, no, that doesn't really work. It's a monthly stencil. It's got the abbreviations for the days of the week and then it's got the numbers 1 through 31 and then it's got kind of like checkbox check type ones there so I thought that was kind of cool I bought these magnetic bookmarks I think everything I bought in the, dollar, in the bullseye playground was a dollar <laughs> so oh except these the sticker books were three they had several different sticker books i had picked up one previously but i bought this one it's got dates and holidays and just some kind of generic type things and i knew i would use most of those it might take me a while to use because i have other number sets but since i repurpose old out-of-date planners the stick the numbers come in really handy for me and then I bought this one for wellness I've been trying to do exercise I'm shooting for hopefully maybe Monday through Friday more often than not um, I'm starting out with just a mile walk I have Leslie Sansone videos and I'm using those I'm hoping maybe next month to add in like Pilates or strength training or something like that but we'll see how that goes I got an order from Total Company I ordered the fabric storage bundle so I got the box I'm not going to use the box for fabric I have two already I'm going to use this as kind of a light box for taking photos of projects that I create I'm hoping to post more of those on Instagram so that was why I bought that. Um, and then this is the well wrapped. I tried to say that because I'll save the bubble wrap because I use that to wrap my holiday decorations. And this is the. It came with. 10 um, fabric wraps which I really needed those for my I'm hoping this will finish my fabric the yardage that I have and then 5 of the fabric files and then I bought they had a really good deal on these during um, their warehouse clearance sale at the end of the year so Plus, I had an extra 10% off, which she shared that in the Get Organized Challenge group. If you're a part of that, she shared an extra 10% off for the warehouse sale. And then I ordered the bits and bobs. I ordered two sets of these drawers. I'm using them for kind of my sewing organization. So I'm hoping 
I, I thought at first this was going to finish my sewing organization and then I remembered I needed two more two or three more of the Leanne bags for my fat quarters so I have them in temporary places right now so I'll be okay this is what the bits and bobs is all assembled you can configure the drawers however you want when because you connect them together with um, little plastic tabs it's hard to see those I know but, um, this is just how I happen to configure the set that I already owned so I'm hoping that maybe I can I'm not I don't think three sets will fit in one cube because they do fit in the Ikea cubes but I also have a Cricut drawer that I got some vinyl in so I want to leave that in and I'm hoping two will fit in there with that drawer and then I want to stamp one tall wise to put by the little sewing machine that I bought to use with paper crafting and store the thread and needles and stuff for that one separately because I have a bunch of older thread that I don't like using with my fabric it just doesn't it's just not very good quality so but I figured it'd be fine for paper projects so <laughs> That's kind of the plan. I'm hoping maybe to work on that a little bit today and maybe finish getting my pay, my um, fabric wrapped up. Um, if I think about it, I will attach the review I did of the fabric file sets to this video. I do want to do a review of the Bits and Bob drawers. Yeah. Obviously, I like them because I just bought two more sets, but... <laughs> But um, I'd still like to kind of do a review of them anyways. But and like I said, I'm, hope, I'm working on getting my craft room hopefully finished sometime. Um, like I said, I, I'm hoping maybe sometime by the end of this year it can be finished, finished. I've kind of rearranged things a little bit because I took a lot of the holiday stuff out of the room the especially the bigger chunkier you know holiday stuff I took a lot of that out of the room I um my daughters ended up taking all the games we had over to their house so that cleared out a bookcase that is in my storage closet downstairs so I'm moving my holiday stuff and like my big styrofoam balls and some of the chunky stuff that I have that I don't use all the time so I mean, obviously not moving all of my, like my Christmas paper crafting stuff is staying in here because I work on Christmas year round, so that I wouldn't take out of the room. But some of the big, bigger stuff that I do for specialty projects that I would only work on probably at Christmas time, maybe like the month before or so, month or two before, I brought that downstairs and I can just go get what I want when I need it. So... I'm hoping, like I said, by the end of 2020, maybe to be able to afford to buy the rest of the products I have. I'm saving money for Scrapbook Expo. I'm hoping Tiffany is at that again. I'm hoping she, last year she ran a special, and I think she typically does it when she goes to the events, that um, if you went during the early bird hour, and I think she honored it a little bit later, but if you went during the early bird hour, you had a coupon for buy one item get one half price so I'm hoping one of the bigger ticket items that I need a couple of I actually need three of them I'm hoping I can get a couple at Expo pay full price for one and get one the other one for half price but that's kind of my hope that's kind of what I'm saving money for I'll probably again spend most of my money at Tiffany's booth if she's there I'm hoping she's there um, but that's kind of my plan. Um, the Get Organized Challenge starts um, Tuesday, January 21st. Um, you can sign up for free. There's no charge for it. Um, she doesn't push her products on you. She does use them during her demonstrations when she talks about it because, I'm sorry, why wouldn't she use her products? But she does also tell you that you can use, you know, different products and she even shows some of those I believe if I remember correctly but then after each week's class she does a little presentation on the products that she carries that could work for that week's product product subject matter like during paper week she shares her paper storage methods but she does that 
after class. So if you're not interested in her products, when class ends, you can leave. You don't have to watch the video anymore. And you don't have to watch the presentation. I usually stay and watch the presentation just because I enjoy seeing it. But <laughs> even though some of them I don't like it anymore. My paper is one thing that I have pretty much finished. I did end up doing a slight rearrange on that, but it was it was minor. But there's that. And then on I think it's Tuesday, January twenty eighth, is the HSN twenty four hour craft event. Um, I'm pretty sure Crafters Companion has the Today Special because they kick off the midnight hour. It's midnight Eastern time that it's, it actually starts at 11 p.m. Monday night Eastern time with Anna Griffin and then midnight kicks off the 24 hours. So it's actually on for 25 hours, at least the way it's scheduled now. They have in the past dropped that first hour they have scheduled. I don't think they will this time because it's Anna Griffin. So I think, it, I think it'll probably stay. But anyways, that's kind of, I don't know if Tiffany's going to be on this round. I need to find that out. But last I checked, they didn't have the guest all on the schedule for in the, on the HSN site. But, but I'm working, I'll, I'll, I'll watch some of it more than likely, especially if it's on Tuesday because hubby works that day. So I don't, I hate to watch it when he's home because I don't normally order anyways and I'm sure he doesn't want to sit and watch crafting hours. Though sometimes when he's home, he encouraged me to buy something that I'm like, oh, I like that, but I'm not going to buy it. He's like, oh, you should buy that. <laughs> he's an enabler. <laughs> Anyways, that's kind of all I got to share today. Um, I did start on the Mediterranean diet. I'm slowly phasing that in. They recommended that to me up at Mayo. Um, I'm doing it slowly because there's things we had already purchased Sometimes when they had sales, I stock up on certain things that really aren't on the diet anymore. But I'm going to use those because we really can't afford to just throw things out. That's why I stocked up when they were cheap was to save money. And so if I throw it away, I'm definitely not saving money. But that's kind of my plan. I will say, I think the swelling in my neck has finally went down. It was one thing they noticed that I hadn't really noticed until it started to go down. And then I realized, oh... I just thought my neck had gotten really fat, but evidently it was just swollen. <laughs> but anyways, that's kind of all I have to share today. Um, let me know. Are you, do you do New Year's resolutions? I don't really do New Year's resolutions. I have some goals, but I don't have New Year's resolutions. And a lot of my goals carried over from last year. Some I did okay on and some I didn't do very well at all on. So for the most part, I just rolled all those goals over into this year. It's more kind of a lifestyle change I'm going for than a, it's not really a diet. Like the Mediterranean diet is really a way of eating. It's not really a diet per se. So I'm trying to slowly switch over to that. And we're still going to eat out. And I know I'm not going to hundred percent be able to follow that. So I just try to choose the healthiest thing I can off the menu, if that makes any sense. Anyways, thanks for joining me. I'll catch you next time.